So by now you should know that we're on top of all game updates as soon as they drop. If you're new here and up new on today's content, please make sure to hit that like button and red subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. We got game update number five for MLB The Show 21. It has gameplay bug fixes to start things off. So the bat will no longer pass through the ball on too late swings. I don't think I've ever encountered that. Maybe on the replay, it shows it like that, but Jesus Christ. Fixed an issue with the bat would move strangely on late check swings. I think that they definitely did not type this correctly in terms of the sentence. Missing a period there as well and every single other bullet point, but that's fine. We're not, we're not judging that. Fixed a bug where the catcher would occasionally not feel the ball after a dropped strike. Never had that happen. Fixed a bug that could freeze the game online after a pitch out. Right now, one of the most popular Twitch streamers for MLB The Show is currently in a freeze out. So freezes still occur in 2021. Fix a crash that would happen occasionally when swinging and missing on a pitch in the dirt. I would have been pissed. You imagine you're in a battle royale game, you're about to go 12 and 0, pitch goes to the dirt and you lose that flawless run because your game crashed. Runners will not turn around on a steel home if they will be safe when pressing R2. What in the world? Like, they need to have better people writing these game updates, in my opinion, because this doesn't even make sense. Runners will not turn around on a steel home if they will be safe when pressing R2. Look, I'm over here trying to help you all out, but this one just takes the cake. Like, it confuses me more than it helps me at all fixed an issue that would cause runners to run out of the base path that happens all the time actually fix the bug that would cause out of position catchers to play a drop ball animation when tagging at home resulting in a missed tag have not seen that yet but if i were to see that i mean at the end of the day what would you have an out of position catcher playing at catcher that it's definitely not something you want. So the bad animation, it makes sense, but I'm glad they fixed it regardless. Fix an issue where subbing a fielder in extra innings caused the CPU to lose a base runner. Why would you fix that? Anything that helps us out, you guys want to fix it instantly. But whenever it's the CPU and showdown playing like their Byron Buxes, Byron Buxtances all over the outfield, you guys don't care about that. There are no hitting or gameplay balance changes in this update. Diamond Dynasty fixed a bug when the wrong uniform would show in extra innings and then fix an issue where a user would quick sell when trying to sell now with quick actions. Now, unfortunately, we don't see one of the most important fixes that we've wanted for Diamond Dynasty, which is your ball player not being a 65 overall bronze anymore. I think that that should be something they focus on and they allow the visual to be better. Fixed an issue where attributes for equipment were not being applied in game. So, you know, Hats off to them. A lot of people have been commenting down telling me, hey, you know, I'm wearing my equipment, but my stats don't change. My attributes don't change. They finally fixed that. I told you all in a patch it would be fixed. Fix an issue that would prevent stat earning from archetype missions. So when a lot of you actually don't get any progress, it's because sometimes it doesn't track your stats, even though that was supposed to be fixed. Now, hopefully it's fixed 100%. Fix the bug where it would show the user's position for the next game as pinch hitter. The correct stats will now display in the rookie of the year award. Fix an issue where a CPU outfielder will stop and not react to an uncommon ball. Never had that issue. User will no longer be able, or user will no longer be only a bench player when called to the MLB. A lot of people have had that issue and a lot of people have commented it down to me. And it's like, each time you enter a game, it's at a pinch hitter and then you don't play for a minute. Like you don't play for two weeks, three weeks. And whenever you do play, you come in as a pinch hitter. I'm glad they fixed that because you shouldn't be called up to the majors to just be a bench bat. I mean, we're ball players for crying out loud. We literally juiced up our overalls to start in the majors and then fixed OSD text for roll to the show championship wins to address minor league name changes don't know that don't really care about that either because it's the minors and you don't try to stay in the minors and road to the show so for franchise they fixed in-game saves for custom franchise and stadium creator fixed an issue that prevented eligible players who came off off the injured list during the playoffs from being added to the playoff roster in terms of stadiums they added various updates to numerous stadiums including lighting dirt netting etc 
Great American Ballpark home and visitor bullpens have been swapped. So I guess that was on the priority list. Stadium Creator, various tweaks and improvements made to snap mode, fix an issue that would warn the user of a blank canvas when not using one, and then various prop fixes. User Interface, because the UI is horrible in a movie the show, fixed a bug that would reset the pause timer indefinitely while in game. If that bug would have appeared to me or my opponent, I would have been pissed beyond a mile. You know what it's like leaving your controller on, having an indefinite pause timer, and then just going about your business, and I'm just waiting for you to forfeit your game? Move the marketplace notification again to the top right corner of the screen to prevent stub and profile overlap. I mean, I don't know where the notification was previously. I think it might have been in the top left. I'm glad it's back to the top right. Correct ear now appears for player stats in the roster update screen. Yeah, because one of my subscribers brought it out. They said, hey, why does it say 2020 instead of 2021? I guess they didn't code in 2021. So now they finally coded in 2021. Fixed an issue with the hits allowed career stat on the pitching matchup loading screen. And then inside edge boost for pitchers now display above the correct player card attributes. I think they need to do that with all the player card attributes because sometimes inside edge it's saying the player is playing down but he's actually playing up and then minor user interface adjustments to the road to the show and diamond dynasty menus now we don't know what those minor changes are but hopefully they are good changes in general there are still a ton of things that i would like to see fixed in mlb the show one of them that they did not address in this game update is no archetype past bronze for catchers in terms of ball players, that needs to be addressed as soon as possible because there are people in real life that just want to be a catcher and roll to the show. They don't even want to use it in Diamond Dynasty and not being able to do that just hurts. And in Diamond Dynasty, we should be able to make them a catcher. We can make them every single position besides catcher. I don't understand the point of just restricting us there. Then when it comes to the visual bug, the 65 overall visual bug, they need to fix that as soon as possible. I mean. If we're a diamond archetype and it shows we're a 99 overall, put us as a diamond card so no one is confused. Also, the display of attributes for ball players in Diamond Dynasty, I wish they would have addressed it or at least put something inside Road to the Show or ball player or gameplay saying, hey, we know these issues exist and we're still working on them, so just stay tuned because the fixes are coming in future updates. There, I would have been cool, and if they would have listed a ton of the issues, I would have been cool with it as well. So now you might be wondering, is the XP glitch gone? No, the XP glitch is still gonna work. They just turned off double XP, but they never told us that they turned off double XP. I logged on today, went to the Diamond Dynasty screen, and the double XP little image that is there at the home wasn't there anymore. And then when it comes to will the ball player glitch still work? I mean, I'm led to believe it will. There's nothing that says it wouldn't as everything basically is gonna stay the same. And if it would have been fixed, they would have absolutely put something in there that says you can now, or you will no longer achieve progress for archetype programs if you press next appearance. To me, that ball player glitch slash method will never be fixed. So that's nothing we have to worry about at all and that is it for game update number five nothing too important the biggest addition is now equipment is actually gonna affect road to the show but other than that i don't really see anything that stands out to me and says yes oh the quick sell little bug fix sometimes when you try to sell at the sell now price it would actually sell it for 5k instead of let's say 400k if you were trying to sell my trout but other than those two things nothing really just jumps out to me and says Yes, we finally got something that we really needed them to work on. I hope they address the archetypes and ball players in general in a future update, or at least let us know that they're working on it. But if you did end up enjoying today's content, hit that like button, red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials at BladeMist. Turn on the channel notifications. Go ahead and click on the community tab. Interact with me there if you would like to become a member of the channel. Just press that join button next to that red subscribe button. And if you're on mobile, just click on the link in the description. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.